When we hear the word construction, we usually think of five things, concrete, steel, wood, stone, and brick. Of course, there are other elements of building like glass, cloth, and plastic, but those materials are used on a much smaller scale. Now let's look at the carbon emissions of these elements. Per cubic meter, 110 kilograms of carbon dioxide are released from using timber, 237 kilograms from cutting and processing stone, 345 kilograms from manufacturing brick, 635 kilograms from producing concrete, and 12,090 kilograms from the construction of steel. As we can see, steel is the highest contributor of carbon emissions followed by concrete, brick, stone, and then timber. So now let's look at one possible alternative to these products, hemp. Hemp is a versatile and sustainable plant that has been used for centuries in a variety of industries, including construction, animal products, textiles, and hemp oil for food and medicine. So what can hemp be used for in construction? Hemp can be used as fiberboard and bricks. Additionally, hemp panels can be used inside buildings for internal and external insulation. To further understand the benefits of using hemp in construction, we must know how hemp bricks and panels and insulation are created. Hemp plants are made up of long, fine fibers and when those are separated from the hemp stalk, what is left is something hard hemp herd. This is a wooden core that would later become the material for hemp products. The herd is then mixed with natural lime and water and formed into any desired shape. What comes out is a material that is comparable to concrete and does not take as much heat to produce and does not release as much carbon dioxide in the process. This material is crack-resistant and can withstand damage in areas where earthquakes are common. While you would not be able to use this material in large-scale buildings, this is a great material to use in smaller construction projects such as smaller houses and businesses. What is truly amazing about this material is that it is carbon negative. This means that it removes more carbon than it produces in its lifetime, which is another great reason to adopt this construction practice. So now let's look at other advantages of using hemp in construction. One of the main benefits of using hemp is its durability and strength. Hemp is resistant to pests, rot, and moisture. It is also fire resistant and has excellent thermal insulation properties. In addition to its strength and durability, hemp is also a sustainable building material. It requires very little water to grow and can be harvested in as little as four months, making it a fast growing and renewable resource. Hemp can also be used to create insulation, flooring, and other building materials. So why isn't hemp used more frequently in construction? Unfortunately, hemp has a bit of a stigma due to its close relationship with marijuana. However, hemp contains very low levels of THC, the psychoactive compound found in marijuana, and is not capable of causing a psychoactive effect. Because of this property, this material has been legal to use until very recently and this construction method has not been researched very long as compared to the hundreds of years of using steel and concrete. Another issue with hemp material is the long time that it takes to dry and settle before it can be used. Large bricks and panels can take up to 8 weeks to dry. This might not be a feasible option when a project needs to be completed within a month and unfortunately insulation is one of the first things that is put up when building a new building. Also, what limits the use of hemp is the amount of weight that it can support. While it is a very strong material, it is not as strong as relative concrete and most people would want something that would be able to support a heavier load even if it means using something not as sustainable. That is why more research into this material could find ways of strengthening the hemp mixture and we could see promising results soon. The last and one of the most important drawbacks is the cost of hemp. Because it is not very widely used, there are few companies that produce this and this increases the cost of manufacturing. Currently you could pay up to three times the amount of regular concrete on hemp and this is not very efficient. But again, we could see the price of production go down as more industries adopt this practice and more experts learn the advantages of using hemp. So is hemp a good or bad construction material? It is a very good material that shows a lot of promise but must be studied further. Hemp can be used as a great insulator and construction medium but is currently very expensive, time-consuming, and not as sturdy as people would like. This then also helps us pose the question of other natural materials that could be good for the environment, that can be used for manufacturing, and that are carbon negative. For now, we must watch and see if hemp construction would be accepted and adopted on a global level.